At the beginning of the 20th century, a new direction in music appeared in America. Although the word jazz came into use only in 1913, this music, distinguished by its loudness, audacity and riot, was heard on the streets of New Orleans at least 10 years earlier. Jazz possessed a special rhythmic energy never seen before in folk music. In addition, jazz was bold and unpredictable. The same song sounded different with each performance, and this only made jazz attractive. The musicians improvised, following the inspiration and adapting the melody to the sounds of other instruments playing with them on stage. Jazz arose as a combination of several musical cultures of different peoples, African rhythms and American harmony. The need to consolidate the inhabitants of the New World led to the unification of many traditions and, as a result, to the creation of a single culture. The result of the mixing processes that took place was first the appearance of ragtime, blues and proto-jazz, and then jazz in the conventional sense. Jazz, is exciting rhythms, pleasant live music that is constantly evolving and moving. 
With this direction, perhaps, no other can be compared, and it is impossible even for a beginner to confuse it with any other genre. The inventiveness, as well as the passion that jazz compositions are filled with, has no boundaries. And here is the paradox. It is easy to hear and recognize this extraordinary music, capable of expressing the whole gamut of human feelings, from boundless joy to uncontrollable anger, but it is not so easy to describe in words. Jazz harmoniously combined the elements of musical trends that already existed in America at that time. He borrowed syncope from ragtime, from blues, its sensuality and tonality. The march has emotional depth, spirituality and drive. Musical instruments moved to jazz from brass and dance bands. This blend produced a completely unique result that was the perfect accompaniment to the dynamic and hectic American life of the 20th century. Jazz arose as a combination of several musical cultures of different peoples and national traditions. He originally came from African lands. Any African music is characterized by a very complex rhythm. The music is always accompanied by dances, which are quick tapping and slapping. At the same time, New Orleans jazz is considered traditional. This term is commonly used to describe the style of musicians who played jazz in New Orleans from 1900 to 1917, as well as New Orleans musicians who played and recorded their records in Chicago from 1917 and throughout the 1920s. Initially the first jazz bands to perform in New Orleans restaurants, small groups of black musicians began touring different cities in search of better pay. Thus, 1917 marked the beginning of a new stage in the development of jazz, but this time in Chicago. It is well known that the birth of jazz as a musical movement took place in the United States at the end of the 19th century but it should be noted that its origins should be sought far from America, on the African continent. It all began with the discovery of a new continent by Columbus, to which at the beginning of the 17th century the British began to import black slaves. The slaves brought in, being from different tribal communities, at first did not understand each other. To survive in completely new conditions, they had to not only find ways of communication, but also create a single culture, including music, which was based on the rhythms and motives of their native Africa. Exhausted by hard work and enduring the cruel treatment of white masters, black people during their leisure hours initially consoled themselves with ethnic ritual songs, with their characteristic complex rhythms. Since African Americans did not have musical instruments, their singing was always accompanied by peculiar dance slaps and tapping. Over time, forced migrants began to adapt to new conditions. After the Civil War of 1861 to 1865, slavery was abolished in the United States, but such changes did not make life easier for the black population of the country. African Americans had to wander from city to city in search of work. On
and the incomparable Louis Armstrong are prominent representatives of Chicago jazz. Quite quickly, from a regional folklore genre, jazz begins to turn into a national musical direction, spreading to the northern and northeastern provinces of the United States. Along with New Orleans, cities such as St. Louis, Kansas City, and Memphis played a great role in its development. Jazz quickly found fans far beyond New Orleans, traveling on steamboats on the Mississippi River and on trains that took New Orleans musicians to Chicago, New York, California and other music centers in the United States. The proliferation of radio and the massive sale of jazz records, tens of millions of them were sold in the 1920s, provided jazz with a rapid rise in popularity. This style of music, invented by lower-class blacks from the southern states of America, soon became such a success in all walks of American society that the 1920s is still spoken of as the century of jazz. Although the history of jazz began in New Orleans, this music took off in the early 1920s, following the beginning of the migration to New York and Chicago which marked the trend of a constant movement of jazz musicians from south to north. At the same time, Chicago became the main center of sound recording, and New York became the main concert venue. More and more people began to get involved in jazz and, as a result, more and more different subgenres began to appear. Jazz has several characteristic features that distinguish it from other musical genres rhythm, swing, instruments that imitate human speech, a kind of dialogue between the instruments, specific vocals into nationally reminiscent of a conversation. The basic difference between jazz and other directions is also rhythm, or rather its arbitrary performance. It is this freedom that makes musicians feel free and easy to perform. In professional circles, this is called swing. Everything is supported by a bright and colorful musical range and, of course, you should never forget about the basic feature, improvisation. All this, combined with talent and desire, translates into a sensual and rhythmic composition called jazz. The further development of jazz is no less interesting than its inception. Subsequently, new directions appeared, swing, bebop, cool jazz, hard pop, soul jazz and jazz funk. In the swing era, collective improvisation faded into the background. Only a soloist could afford such a luxury, the rest of the musician had to adhere to the prepared musical composition. In the 1930s, there was a furious growth of such groups, which later became known as big bands. The most prominent representatives of this period are considered to be Duke Ellington, Benny Goodman, Glenn Miller. Ten years later, a revolution in the history of jazz takes place again. Small groups, mainly consisting of black performers, are returning to fashion, where absolutely all participants could afford improvisation. The stars of the turning period were Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie. The musicians sought to return to jazz its old ease and ease, as far as possible to move away from commercialization. Big band leaders came to small orchestras, who were simply tired of loud performances and large halls who just wanted to enjoy the music. Jazz has become an integral part of the music industry, spreading across the globe. The popularity of jazz melodies has led to the creation of a huge number of ensembles performing them, as well as to the emergence of new directions of this genre of music. Music 1940-1960s has undergone a colossal change. Jazz was divided into two groups. One of them belonged to classical performance, cool jazz is famous for its restraint and melancholy. Today, more than 30 such directions are known, among which the most popular are blues, soul, ragtime, swing, 
Jazz Rock, Symphonic Jazz. The main representatives are Chet Baker, Dave Brubeck, Miles Davis. But the second group developed the ideas of bebop, where the main ones were bright and aggressive rhythms, explosive soloing, and, of course, improvisation. In this style, John Coltrane, Sonny Rollins, and Art Blakey took the top of the podium. Thank you.